why does $2 million sound pretty good, right? All you have to do is win six basketball games. Pretty simple. The only problem is, well, the teams are comprised of former college and professional hoopsters who also have their own eyes set on the prize. The Midwest Dream Squad, featuring former Nequa Valley Wildcats players Dejon Knight and Dwayne Evans, able to make the exclusive 64-team field. They did so last season, too, even picking up a pair of wins before their Cinderella run ended with a loss to a group of Notre Dame alums. This year, the Dream coming up just a little short in the first round. Armored Athletes, a team led by former Indiana University stars, taking a big 92-60 win. And even without a cool $2 million in their pockets, it's always fun to take part in the big tournament. After getting a bus kick like that, you definitely want to come back for revenge. So, yeah, I'll be back. A guy like Sean, you know, he's a good player. He's got a good basketball IQ. You know, he played for one of the best coaches alive. You know, Dwayne as well. You know, he, he played a pretty big program in St. Louis. I um, mean, it, it's an honor to, you know, be a part of that, you know, and coach these guys. And, you know, they're all coachable players, you know, even still, they, they want to play hard and they want to get better. To another tournament, but no cash this time around. Naperville Central is cruising. Too bad for that whole no prize money thing. The Red Hawks summer baseball team coming away with a win over friend in the Jack Lawler quarterfinals, advancing to face Plainfield South in the semis. Unfortunately, the buck stopped there. A 6-3 loss to end the summer inside Boomer Stadium in Schaumburg. Red Hawks finishing 14-12. And, and another note from baseball, the IHSA is reportedly discussing a pitch count starting next year for high school pitchers, although no word yet on what that official number will be. To the pitch, five local soccer players have their sights set on winning the U.S. Youth Soccer National title. Morgan Kemmerling, Meredith Tunney, Kayla Sharples, Dana Williams, and Megan Kalkafin will be heading to Texas to compete in the under-19 event. Their team, one of the final four remaining. Now to a different kind of football. Local prep teams wrapping up the weekend of seven-on-seven -seven games. Nequa Valley officially coming out on top. And Notre Dame recruit Isaiah Robertson sees big things from his Wildcats. It's looking amazing, you know, guys stepping up like Donnie and Sterling and Mac, you know, so we have a, we have a lot of weapons that we're going to be using this year, and it, uh, it's really exciting. Finally, D3Football.com coming out with their preseason rankings, and North Central comes in 13th. Wheaton checks in 8th. That's it for sports. Back to you, Natalie.